Hello everybody, welcome back to Shapakio. Well, we're in uh, October, it's a miserable rainy day. We've got £2,890. We've got the worker over in the, what used to be the red beet field, what the worker ploughed in. So he's uh, picking the rocks out, and we're going to get this. Uh, this field um, ploughed, then we're going to get them limed, and then we're going to get them ready for drilling. I don't know what we're going to plant. We've got a lot of things on lease, so we need to earn some money. Um, what can we plant in, I think we're in October, so all we can plant is wheat. Or, or sealed radish. Or we can plant green rye. Yeah, that's all we can plant. So we'll probably do one field. Do one field of um, wheat. And then we'll wait till, the, till March. Yeah, we'll wait till March to... Um, plant the other two fields so we'll kick it off with the first time lapse and we'll get this uh, field ploughed and we'll get the um, fields all the fields lined This over here thinks he's finished when he's missed loads. I really can't wait till FS25. The, uh, the AI workers should be ten times better than what it is in FS22. Having GP, GPS and all. Right, I'll get this bit done off camera. I'll set him on in any other field. And then we'll get to um we'll get to line.
Oh, right. Well, I'm hoping we've got some lime somewhere. I think this could be a bag of lime. It is. I don't know if it's going to be enough to do all the fields. But let's give it a go. Yeah, that's working. Lovely. Right, let's get all their fields lined. I might have to go and purchase another bag. We'll have to wait and see. Let's roll. That's the field completed. I will get this took back to the farm. We'll take a look at the silage. See if it's fermented. Get this drill into the shed. We'll check up on the uh, vent to see if he's finished doing the stones. And then we'll take a look at the price of the silage. Oh, and to see if, uh, wait, where should I put this? Can I undo another door? I can, but. Oh, wait, it's so very spreader. You can be moved. Oh yes, you are ready. Right, let's take a look at the price of silage.
Right, so I'll edge. 527 pound and the best price is 567 so we could sell a couple try in the fall let's have a look at the carrots the best price is in July we're currently on 250 and we get 525 so we're not selling the um we're keeping hold of the carrots today. So that looks like we're getting selling two loads of silage. I didn't think that was going to uh, connect to that then. Look at that. Class on class. We'll swing around back there. All right, let's empty this two thousand seventy-three liters of stones into the rock crusher. Produce some more lime. How much lime we got in here? Space. Why is it coming up out of space when it's not out of space? This is what happened on our um, vintage fan with the corn dryer. I don't understand. If anybody knows. Uh, why that does that if you can let me know in the comments it'd be uh, appreciated but yeah I don't know why is it saying it's out of space because it's not even full oh, I don't know I must have a, I must have a mod was conflicting with it it's, it's got to be well anyway let's get connected to the uh front loader and let's get filling up the um, trailer a bucket holds a thousand litres yeah and a trailer holds twenty two and a half thousand so that's like 23 buckets fulls. So yeah. This is going to take a hot minute. But. Right, let's get this uh, trailer filled.
Alright, here we are at Derek's. 22,500 litres of silage. And let's, see many, let's see how many peas he's going to bring in. And I think as we drove by them uh, bows over by the road, I think I might see a collectible sitting on the top. Nice. So we had 11,885 pound plus 375 pound environmental score. Very good. And the rain should be stopping in the next 15, 20 minutes. So we'll run over to these bows. We'll jump up on the top. I think there's a little red tractor sitting on top there. I swore I see one as I drove by. I did hesitate to stop, but I thought I'd wait till I get the uh, load of silage sold before I uh, mention it. But yeah, let's have a look. Just there, look. There we be. We have nine more to go. Thank you. So yeah, let's get back to the yard. We'll load up with silage one more time. Um, I think two trailers worth would be enough. Yeah, Derek's. With another 22 and a half thousand litres of silage. So hopefully we'll get them near and on the same price, if not better. But here we go, top right corner. So we've got a tenner, we've got 11,893, so we've got a tenner more than last time, plus the 375 environmental score. So we're on back to the farm, we'll uh, take a look in the old contracts. I think uh, the cornfield opposite the farm is 113. Wait for the game to save again. Seventeen airfields, one hundred and thirteen. So one hundred and seventeen. Let's just see what's there. Plenty of barn and contracts. Harveston field, one hundred and seventeen. So it is there four thousand eight hundred and fifty-six? And it's going to the product of the fit plan. So we're going to set that. We're going to see where the uh, sell point is, corn, tag, what's that, Thailand or Oh, well, I don't know where that is. Fort left. Right, where's the cell point then? It should be flat. Oh, it's right, right there. Look. Well, that ain't too far. Yeah, that's that's well close. Happy days. 
Right, we'll need to get our laser corn header. So I'll run this to field 117. I'll ju jump in the um, combine. I'll get the uh, header at least. And then I'll see you in field 117. Alright, here we are in the uh, cornfield doing the contract. I'm recording a course. I'm going to try to put on course play and it, uh, it was trying to select all the fields on this side of the map. So I don't know what's going on here. So I'm going around ahead of myself recording the course and then we'll stick it on the work on course play. And uh, I'll do the um, can, so hopefully I can make it all the way round with that and load them. But yeah, it was um, oh, I don't know what that uh, what that might mess that up. I don't know if I can sort that out. This is why it looks a bit more gonna make the headland, which is one good thing. Yeah, but I don't like the fact that course play don't work on this map, it's, it's a bit weird. But anyway. Let's uh right. Let's let's see if it works. Could not generate course, the log may have more information. The log might have more information. No, let's uh wonder why this isn't working then. Nearest waypoint. Hmm. Strange. Oh well. Looks like we're, uh, I have some call myself. Let's go.
All right. I'll throw, throw that on the worker. He should be near enough full. I say we're nearly halfway through the uh, through the field. So we'll get the combine unloaded. We wait until he's literally full. They're coming to a halt now. Right, that's it. Him chop the auger out. We'll fill this up. We'll let the worker go and fill the combine up again. And we'll go empty the trailer at the uh, cell point. I may have to run down the field with him to get a full trailer though. Which is not an issue. Can we get 100% before we get to the bottom of the field? Come on. I don't think we are. Point eight five percent. We'll take this to the cell point. The worker can um, the worker can carry on. We're going over there. I think that might be up near the grain mill. I think the grain mill's over there. Yeah, this is the grain mill. I thought that was another collectible, but it was a red world. Let's, uh, right, mate. Let's tip this in here. Right, we're going to leave this episode here. We'll finish the uh, contract in the next episode. So if you did enjoy the episode, if you can hit that uh, thumbs up and if you haven't been done already think about subscribing until next time i'll see you guys very soon bye for now